In today's tutorial, I want to show you step by step how to create a header for your website. So this header is also going to be sticky. So when you start scrolling, this is going to be stuck at the top. It's also going to be mobile friendly, which means it's going to look great on mobile devices. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to create this. The first thing we need to do is to create our menu before we can start building our header. So I'm going to come over here now to appearance and then click on menus. Now I already have a few pages uh, here already, but let me show you how to create this so i'm going to come over here to create new menu and we're going to give this a name so let's call this mac menu i'm going to assign this to my primary menu and then click on create the next step now is to add pages to the menu that i've just created so i'm going to click here on uh, view all and i'm just going to add a few pages here like that maybe even the sample page add to menu and what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to add a drop down. So to create that, you just need to drag this slightly to the right and this becomes a sub menu. Let's go ahead now and click on save. Now we need to go to Divi, hover over here and click on theme builder. This is where we need to create our menu that covers pretty much the whole website. So I'm gonna click here on add global menu, build global menu. So the first thing I do is to head over here to my section settings go to my background and add a background color. So this menu here is going to be a dark menu. So I'm going to go with the dark color. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to go to the design tab and scroll over here to spacing and just make sure I set this to 1% for the top and bottom padding. Let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our menu. So I'm going to click here and go for a column layout, which is a quarter, three quarters. So I'm going to go with that. Now over here, this is where we're going to add our logo. So I'm going to add an image and select it. So instead of just adding an image in here, what we're going to do is we are going to delete this first and then add this as a dynamic item. So I'm gonna choose a site logo. So whatever logo that we set is the logo that is going to show up here. And I'll show you towards the end of the video where you need to upload your logo. All right, so now that we have it, you can see here it's way too big. This is where you need to come over here to design. So we're going to adjust our width here by dragging the slider down and we're gonna bring it down to about 24%. Now this is going to vary based on the size of your logo. All right, so I'm gonna save this for now. We are going to come back later on to tweak it. Now over here, we're going to add a menu. So let's go ahead and search for our menu here and select it. Now remember, I created a menu called Mac menu. This is where now we need to come over here and select it. So it's important to create it ahead of time so that we can target it over here. Okay, so now that we have this, we can see already we have a problem here. We have a background color in here. So we need to get rid of it by coming over here and just setting this to transparent. So now you can see that this is looking much better. Our font here is way too dark and we can't see it on a dark background. So let's go ahead and fix that problem. So I'm gonna come over here to my menu text and I'm gonna leave my font as it is, but I'm gonna make it all caps. Next, I'm gonna add my active link color. So I'm gonna go with that. But of course, in your case, you can just choose any color from your color palette. And then over here, we are going to choose our menu text color. So I'm going to select this. So now we can see it's easier to read. Let's increase the size a little bit here to maybe about 15. And I'm also going to add some letter spacing. Okay. So I think I'm happy with that. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to remove some spacing. So I'm going to come over here, set this to zero and do the same to the bottom and save. Okay. Now we can see here we have quite a bit of padding inside here. Let's get rid of it by clicking here on our row settings. And I'm gonna go straight over here to design, spacing, and I'm also going to do the same, set this to zero and do the same both for the top and the bottom. So this allows me to see what size my logo needs to be. So now I can go and adjust this ever so slightly. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna make this slightly smaller by coming over here to design, sizing, and let's bring this down a little bit. I know it's way too small. So we're going to go for 18 and save. Now over here, ideally, I would like this aligned over to the right. So let me go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to design menu text. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find my text alignment, which I need all the way to the right, just like that. All right. So, so far, so good. I think that's looking great. But... Um, 
this does not stick to the top. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm just going to open our website now in a new tab. And there we go. So now I have my header. But you notice that when I scroll, it doesn't stick to the top. So some of you may want that feature where it sticks to the top. And, and also over here, my drop down here doesn't look great. So we are now going to fix those two things. So back over here, I'm going to go into my section settings, advanced. And then I'm going to come over here to scroll effects. And here by default, it says do not stick. So I want this to stick to the top. So I'm going to set to that and save. All right. So now this is going to stick to the top. Now, if I save this and test this one more time, I'm going to come over here, refresh this. And now when I scroll, you can see it is now stuck to the top, which is brilliant. So that's, that's how you make it sticky uh, to the top. Okay, so now let's work on our drop down here. I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into my menu settings and click on design menu text. In fact, I need to go into the drop down menu. All right, so here on the drop down menu, our drop down background color is going to be this color here because I want this to match my background color here. My line color, I don't need any lines, so I'm just going to add this as my color. My menu text color is going to be this color here. And my active is going to be that. And mobile menu background color is going to be that as well. And this is going to be my text color. And for the icons, I'm going to go with, okay, for the shopping icon, uh, let's just make it simple. We're going to go with that, search icon that. And the hamburger menu is going to be this. Okay, now let's go ahead and save. And let's save this one more time. Now, before I uh, do a quick review, I just want to come over here to my tablet view and see what this looks like. So right away, we see that this is pretty much all over the place, right? So what I normally do is I create another menu specific for the mobile devices. And let me show you how to create that. That's going to make this look much, much better. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this by coming over here. But we are going to go in now into our columns and just make sure we have one single column. And we are going to delete uh, this logo here. So what we're going to do in our menu here is to add the logo in the actual uh, menu by coming over here. So I can add my um, logo by coming over here, set my site logo, fix the size. Oops, we need to be in here. Sizing or our logo width. So it depends what you want to work with. So I normally work with my logo width. So just make sure that you have this to a size that's reasonable. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. And the next step now is to come over here to my advanced visibility. And I'm going to set this to disable on the desktop. Okay, so this is only going to be visible in the uh, tablet and the phone. Save that. So let's do a quick test and see what this looks like so far. Save and exit. Now I know my logo right now is not showing because I haven't uploaded it. So I'm going to do this in a moment. All right. So over here now, if I refresh now, let's resize this and see what happens. So you notice that we have two uh, icons here. That is because the top one was not disabled. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. I'm going to come over here. So we need to make sure the top menu is also disabled. Otherwise, it will show two menus over there. So this one here is the top one. So I'm going to go in like that. Go to my advanced visibility. And I want to make sure this is disabled on the phone and the tablet. That's something that I forgot to do. But anyway, I'm glad because I was able to show you how that is done. Okay, now let's close out of here. Save changes. Let's go ahead and add a logo so that uh, we complete our header design. So right now I just have to leave my um, theme builder here and go to my theme options. I'm going to come over here to logo, click, uh, click on upload, and I need to upload a logo. So I'm just going to go with something that's already here. So I'm going to go with this as my logo. 
set as logo, save changes. So now when we come to our website, if I refresh this, we can see now that our logo is now showing. And one quick tip here on the logo, make sure if you have a dark background, your logo is uh, light because you need to have that contrast. So now let's drag our window here and see what happens when this changes over to the desktop. So you can see now that this looks much, much better. If you want to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a free course. The link to that is in the video description below. And also, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Till next time, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.